In this video, we will learn how to create inner classes. Let us create a class known as college. Let us have a constructor for this college that is the init method, which takes in self as the parameter. We will have a print statement inside the init method of the college class. Let us print outer class constructor. We will now create an inner class inside the class college. Let us call this class as student. Inner class is nothing but creating a class inside a class. Sometimes it is also called as nested classes. Even for this class student, we will have its constructor using the init method. Let us use only one parameter that is self. We will have a print statement and let us print the string inner class constructor. Let us define an instance method that is, let's call it as display s for student class. We will have self as the parameter and then we will have a print statement which will print, let us say student method. Let us also have an instance method for the college class. We will call this method as display c and we will use self as the parameter. Let us have a print statement which will print college method. If you look at this program, the student class is an inner class, which is defined within the college class. You can also observe that since student class is an inner class or it is part of the college class, it is indented. And even the methods, that is init method as well as display s method of the student class is indented respective to the student's class. This method in it belongs to the college class as well as this method display C belongs to the college class because these methods are indented respective to the college class. Let us now create an object of college class. We will have C equal to college. Now here C is the object of the college class. So we will be able to access the init method as well as the display C method. We will not be able to access the init method of the student class as well as display S method of the student class. So we can use C dot display C and let us execute this program. You can find that when the object C is created of the type college class, the init method is implicitly called. And in the init method, we have a statement print outer class constructor. So therefore, the first line of the output is outer class constructor. Then we are calling display C method. So the display C method has a print statement and we have the output as college method. Now, if I try to use C dot display S, I will get an attribute error. So even though the class student is an inner class of the college class, we will not be able to directly access the methods of the student class. Now to access the method of the student class, we need to create an object of the student class. Let us use s equal to, we cannot directly create an object of the student class. Since student class is an inner class, we need to create an object of the student class using the outer class object that is c dot student. Now using the object s, we will be able to call the display s method of the student's class. Let us execute this program. You can find that the first statement of the output that is outer class constructor is because we have created an object of the college class and in it method is implicitly called and we have a print statement which displays outer class constructor. Then we are calling the display C method of the college class which has a print statement which prints college method. Then we are creating an object of the student class using the outer class object. So once the object of the inner class is created, the init method of the inner class is implicitly called. And in the init method, we have a print statement which prints inner class constructor. And then we are calling the display s method of the student class. The display s method of the student class has a print statement 
which displays student method. As we cannot access the methods of the inner class using the outer class objects, the same way we cannot access the methods of the outer class object using the inner class object. For example, we cannot access display C method, which is a method of the outer class object using the inner class object S. When we execute the program, we get an attribute error. We can also create an object of the inner class using the outer class name. For example, we can have S equal to college, which is an outer class with its constructor dot student. Always remember that the outer class name should appear before the inner class name. Then we will be able to call the display S method of the student's class. Let us execute this program. We get this as the output. Now here you can find this part of the output is because of these two statements. And this part of the output is because of these two statements. Now we are having the output as outer class constructor because of this part of the statement which implicitly calls the init method of the outer class that is college and then we are having this part of the statement which implicitly calls the constructor of the inner class. So this is how inner classes can be implemented in Python. We can have more than one inner class as well as we can have nesting at different levels.